So now libxcb needs required is two um, tools that we've already installed and one recommended is one that we've also already installed so we can uh, oh what's this one here doxygen yeah I thought so this needs a lot of um, X windowy type package packages so we can't do that so I'll have to reload this one uh, yes yeah, to generate the API again like I said I wouldn't normally build the API I'm just doing this as a demonstration it obviously makes things a lot more complicated so unless you really need it it's probably best not to go ahead and um, build with documentation in mind including the API documentation So this is libxcb. Okay, so we've got libxrt. So let's go and get this one. libxcb. Okay, there's some explanations here, and by default, it's got the without oxygen um, settings, so we can just copy this as it is. Okay, so we've got some sets to run in. Um, oops. Um, what we're done here. Xmontio. Oh, I'm on the wrong. Window that's better. I sort of didn't recognise what I was looking at. So we need to install these two sed commands. Um, to be compatible with the version of check we've got. That's okay. And then we can run make check after that. Okay, we've got a fail. Where would that be? Didn't actually say. Um, right, let's run this again. I'm doubly sure I'm doing everything right. Let's check we've got those Axorg prefixes. Yeah, we've got them. On sign and it's got a prefix in it, so that's okay. Let's just jump check the prefix. Yeah. 
So the set command is all there. Oh no, it's the previous one. I'm going to go back there, that's it. Set my size, configure, configure it's all. Conf without doxygen. Doctor equal data there. Right, let's try the default, make it run in one thread just in case. Probably not a problem, but. Right, now I'm going to copy these two set commands one at a time. So I don't know why this is. Um, let's look at the test suite log that's there. Open shared object file. All oh, right, okay. So what we need to do here is to reload the um, shared objects file. Um, I can't remember how to do this. So.conf. So let's just check this file has got the correct locations in it opt xorg lib opt xorg lib there's the lib xau that was complained about in the um, log file so what we need to do is reload these libraries and to do that you do is it lib stroke lib c dot so6 that's it I think that's right no, it isn't. It's LD um, I can't remember it. Oh, yes, it was root. So there's a good start. LD LD config, that's it. Um, Yeah, that's interesting. Um, this looks like there's a problem with the libproc ps, which is part of um, the LFS build. Let's see if that actually worked. I can't quite remember how to do this. So I'm yeah, that's passed, so that bit's worked. I'm not sure why that other command has failed. So that's libxcb. So that's already fi obviously fixed this problem by reloading the libraries. Um, I'm slightly concerned about that other one, though. Let's go in as properly as root. This pin should be config. Yeah, right, I might have to look that one up on the internet. Can't ignore that. So, let's, let's just put LD config cannot map file lib. Yes. Oh, 
とさあおえんまぶおえんまぶおえんまぶおえんまぶおえんまぶおえんまぶおえんまぶ It's saying that the、um, this is a link and it's not pointing at anything.、Uh, this one s e l l use that lib lib proc ps.so. Oh, it's a, a directory. That's interesting. And it's pointing to dot dot lib. Hmm, I wonder if I've done something wrong when I've installed Proc PS possibly.、Um, some scratch r o o t at nine. Stable. This is the bit. Yeah. So I might, I might have to look back at the videos. I might have made a mistake here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild this now. Before I go any further. So, I know the tests have run libxcb. I just haven't installed it. So, I'm going to go back to sources. Extract proc ps. I'm going to have to get another browser up with just LFS. Read online, stable, and I want proc ps. We're in chapter 6, which is correct. So I need to run this configure command. Oh, why is that not running now? Okay, this needs to be done as root then, perhaps.、Um, no, I know what I'll do. Safer. Chone. sudo. chone. star. oh. c o l o text. star. That's better, so they're all owned by kernel text now, so that. Configure should run now, that's better. Of course, these would have been installed as root previously, and that's why oh, I'm still failing. Oh, I didn't do a recursive. Right, okay, let's start again.
right, so time is XVF. Minus R, uh, coma text prop PS. Right, so let's try once more with that configure. It's better. Now we're a make. That's worked. And we can do sudo minus E make install. And then go back to our fourth one, our fourth terminal, and run in the remainder. Oh, I've done this wrong again, haven't I? I think I need to take a break. Um, oh, that's the test suite I've skipped. So let me run the test suite now. No reason why it shouldn't run. We've run it once before. Um, better do these individually, I think. Type it, make, check. Okay, so that has passed. So we've installed it. So the last bit is the bit that might have been missed, possibly. Um, again, I'm going to do this separately so I can see the result. Okay, that's fine. And just get rid of this here so I can see what's behind it. So this is the, I think this is the SO that was failing. Let's try and um, reload this again now. Um, the conf. How do config? No, it's still not working. That is that file there. So it's obviously installed correctly. Um, I presume it was, unless this is something that's. I think there's something wrong there. This should be pointing to I thought this should be pointing to a file. Um oh I just thought let's check the Errata for looks from scratch. Uh, no, there's nothing there.
Yeah, it's only symlink that's pointing to a directory. So that looks peculiar in itself. Although I'm not necessarily wrong. Right, what I'm going to do is remove that link and rerun these commands again. So remove user lib lib prop yes dot so let's run make install again. See what we've got there after we've installed it. So we've got an LA file, libprop CPS points to a version of itself, solos.7, and there's the actual file there. So let's now look at that read link again. Ah, uh, yeah, that's definitely wonder if that's why it hasn't worked. So I might have copied this wrong or forget, forgot to copy it or something. Um, so let me do the move command again now. User lib lib proc ps.so dot star into lib. So that's still the same and we've got obviously a broken link now because we've just moved two files so that's okay I guess that's what this fixes so let's bring that back okay ln minus ff sfv dot 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 lib slash dollar and bracket read link forward slash user lib fact, I won't take a risk with this I'm going to copy it again that kind of looks a bit better actually so it's Right, that's better. It's actually pointed to the file it was originally pointing to, but in the new location. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so let's bring it out to the config. That's more like it. Right, I'll have to um, double check my video when I did Linux from scratch. Um, that's obviously a mistake there. Um, so we can carry on with the um, actual Beyond the Linux from scratch now. So I'll get rid of that, that, and that. Go back to here. So we ran the tests. Let's come out of this. Oh, let's clear this up. Go back to BLFS, back to XC, and back to lib XCB. Uh, 
I'm going to run make check again, just to be sure. Yep, that's working fine. So now I'm going to get rid of this fourth terminal before I get confused by that. So now I can install at libxcp. Okay, that's good. That's all done. 